Hello world, welcome to today's video. So today what we are trying to do is validate credit card number, right? So what exactly is this? So you will implement a loan algorithm which is used to validate credit card numbers. So given a positive integer of up to 16 digits, you need to return true or false depending on whether the credit card number is valid or not. So here is the algorithm. So uh, what we need to do is double every other digit, scanning from right to left, starting from the second digit, right? So uh, from the right. So from the right, starting from the second digit, you need to do it. So another way to think about this is if there are even number of digits, then you need to double every other digit, starting with the first digit. If there are uh, an odd number of digits, then double every other digit. Uh, starting with the second digit, right? So if there are even number of digits, you need to double every uh, other digit starting from the first digit. If there are odd number of digits, then you need to double every other digit starting from the second digit, right? And also, if resulting number is greater than nine, in case of uh, the third example over here, it is greater than nine, right? So what we need to do is, uh, we need to replace it with, the sum of uh, its own digits, right? Say, for example, if it is 18, then one plus eight will give you nine. Or the other way you can do is you can just subtract it and even the final thing will get it as nine. And finally, you just need to add all of these to get your uh, final uh, result. So if you divide this result by 10 and if you get the number to be equal to zero, then you need to return true because that means that the credit card is valid. If not, it, it means that it is not valid, right? So let's just uh, check this out. So first let's just see console.log. What are we getting as a number? So we get num from this type of this should also be a number type, right? Okay. So first we need to check if the number of digits we have is even or odd. So what we can do is we can say let even or let's say let number of digits equal to n dot two string dot split dot then. Right. So we are converting it into a string and then we are splitting it into an array and then we are taking that length. Of course, you can just do n dot two string and then you can say dot length. It will still give you the same result, right? So let's just console dot log n as well as number of digits to see if we are getting proper answers. So three and number of digits is, I mean, number of digits is three and we have that number. So perfect, it works, right? So that is one of the things. So now we can see if this is even or odd, right? So if number of digits modulus two equal to equal to zero, then it's even, else it's, Right. So depending on this, we can take our decisions further. So if the number of digits is even, then we need to double every starting digit. So we need to convert this digit into an array first. So let's just do that. So let our number array equal to. So we need this explicitly, right? So let number dot array is equal to n dot two string dot split, right? So now we have an array. And then what we need to do is double every other, every first digit. So for let i equal to zero, i less than uh, number of digits. I plus two. Why plus two? Because I'm skipping every other digit, right? And we are starting with the zeroth digit. So now what we need to do, if this is the case, 
for this and this is our array right like number array of i let's just console log and see what is the type of this number right so if it is even Let's just put this over here as well. Oh, we need to put this over here. This needs to be one. Why is it taking so long? It shouldn't be taking so long, right? So everything is of types of, oh my God, it's taking so long. Then this is not proper. Something is not proper because it's taking so long. So something is not proper. Let's just move this i plus plus, right? For example, zero blah blah blah, i plus plus. If i more than this two equal to equal to zero, then we just continue. Tell this we do console dot log. Yep. That works. Why? Why? Why was that? I don't know. Never mind. So here we need to do the opposite. And let me wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Fine. Let me just enlarge this. I'm just going to take that out, and I'm just going to copy this. Then for even. What we need to do is if this is the case, then we do this or this. We say continue. Hold on, if what is the case or if I am calling the zero. Right. So this should now tell me what is the type. So the type is string. We don't want that. We want this to be a number. Okay. So if this is the case, we need to double this, right? So number of array. Let's first say, let's just convert this. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to double this. Now, I'm going to fight. No, 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 This is what we need. And we are going to copy the same logic here. Right. Okay. Now, after we double it, if this number of array of i is greater than nine, if it is still nine, it's fine. If it is greater than nine, what you need to do is number array of i equal to number array of i minus nine, right? Why? Because if you notice here, if it is greater, then we need to subtract it by nine, right? And we need to do the same above here after we calculate that. Okay, once we do the entire thing, okay. 
that's the case do that if it is odd then do this then we have a sum so let sum equal to zero so now what we need to do is we need to add all of this like whatever is inside the array so for let i equal to zero you can do this or you can use the reduce method as well right i'm just going to do the traditional method number array dot length i plus plus then sum plus equal to number i number array right that's all number array on five no not that's all after that we need to check if it is divisible by zero, I mean, if some modulus 10 equal to equal to zero, then we return true. Else we return false. Now this is a very big program. I mean, I'm writing it in a very elaborated way. Of course, I think there are very clever ways to write this. Let's just check it out. Hopefully this should work, I'm not sure. Runtime or why is it runtime? There's a runtime error somewhere. All right. Why is there a runtime error? Because this is a string over here. Is that the case? Yeah, we did not really convert this into an array, did we? No, we did, right? Number of your five, where is it? Why does it not work then? Where am I going wrong? One eternity later. I'm just going to try to debug this. A loop is not being I mean oh I know why because this is not being converted, right? But I'm trying to do that over here. Is it taking too long? There's an on and on. This loop is taking forever. Like this loop is not terminating. Why isn't it terminating? Because I haven't said I less than. Amazing, right? That's a really good, by the way. Yep, that should work. And let's just attempt it. Yep, everything works. So the one miss, like I just missed this I less than in that for loop and it took forever, right? So yeah, that's how you solve this solution. Let's just see if somebody else has, I mean, of course, everybody else would have solved this, but I'm just going to see the most cleverest ways of solving this there is one guy who has solved it this way he's doing the same thing but i'm using a follow-up he's using a while loop right that is one way to do uh, here is a very nice way to do this clever but not the best practices what i can see right 
and here is somebody who has done it in a very long way so yeah you can actually solve it in different ways there's this person who has done it in one line up this is not really the best practice never do it that way so but yeah anyways i've shown you my solution like how i did it you can follow that it is pretty simple straightforward self explanatory nothing else to do with that right so yeah that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video